What's up guys, I'm Josh, and today I wanted to talk to you about my thoughts on Street League, and specifically the most recent Portland stuff. So I'd like to start off by addressing all the people that aren't big fans of Street League. Yes, it's overproduced, and yes, there are some whack things going on. However, the high level of consistency that these pros are skating at is absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, they're doing big spin, back tail, big spins within four tries. If that's not insane, I don't know what is. And what it comes down to is who doesn't want to watch great skateboarding? Chris Cole, after he did the alley 270 lip, there is this shot of this kid, and I think he looks like a Tommy to me. Definitely a Tommy. Just absolutely mind blown. That's, that's cool. That's the face I make when I watch Street League. I have a theory as to why everyone hates Nigel. I think it's that he's so good. I mean, you see him winning all these contests, and you want everyone else to win, so it starts off as sort of a jealousy, and it slowly transitions into like an extreme hatred. Maybe it's just me. My biggest complaint about this event is the announcers. I'm not even going to dignify them by finding out their names, so I'm just going to say the announcers. First, they have all these dumb catchphrases, and I'm not sure if it's their own catchphrase or if they're being told to say all this stuff, but it's extremely lame. A couple that come to mind are they love to say things are sticky. They were saying the board was sticky on a switch frontside flip when it didn't flick all the way, and whenever a skater loses his balance, they're just like, oh, that rail was sticky. Another one is whenever someone bails a trick, they say the guy's a raw street skater, which kind of reminds me of when you say a fat girl has a really nice personality, it's just like trying to make them feel better about bailing the trick when all these guys are raw street skaters. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Matt Miller, Tommy Sandoval, all those guys skate street every day. Like, what are you talking about? I think the thing the announcer said that makes me the most mad, though, is whenever periods get switched, they compare it to switch hitting in baseball, for those of you who don't understand. I think what makes me most mad about that is the fact that they're assuming that everyone who watches Street League knows more about baseball than skateboarding. Maybe it's just me being dumb, but I've never even heard of switch hitting until the Street League announcer started talking about it. I think my favorite moment of the Portland stop is when Nigel got bumped out. One, because everyone else has a better chance of winning now, and it's always a better competition when Nigel isn't part of it. Second, because you saw all the cameras getting super close to his face, as if they were expecting him to cry. And to the naked eye, you couldn't see any tears, but I took a microscopic microscope, and that doesn't make sense, and zoomed in extra close onto his face, and guess what I found? Here's a shot of Nigel crying again! He cried again! For those of you who watched the prelims, you saw that Jeff Rally stepped in as a guest announcer, and that was the best thing ever. I mean, he's a team rider with uh, Luan and David Gonzalez, so he knows personal stories, unlike the other uh, announcers who just say the same thing about each skater every time they go. Whenever P Rod takes a run, they just say, oh, here comes P Rod, he skates a lot of switch. And, oh, here comes Juan, he's very consistent, he's from Brazil. And it just gets really boring after a while. My request for Street League is to have the guest announcers be in the finals too, not just the prelims. And that comes with one condition, as long as it's not Tony Hawk, because Tony Hawk does not know how to pronounce trick names. P-Rod took me on an emotional roller coaster this episode. He started off with that switch big heel in the impact section, and I'd like to take a second to recognize how great that is. I mean, a lot of the pros go with the sort of similar go-tos, and I've never seen you switch big heel in the section before. I do have one thing to call you out on, P-Rod. In the last round of the big section, when you landed your trick in a shot where it hadn't gone yet, I saw you celebrating, and I gotta say, it's a little bit cocky. So, great job in the win though, and that was a great street league. A couple of my favorite things that went down were Tommy Sandoval with the huge front set flip over the volcano, Chris Cole with your kickflip fakie across the ramp gap, Dylan Raider with your nolly cab in the impact section, that was crazy, and everything Shane O'Neill does ever. <laughs> now this is a pretty hefty statement, but I think I could be a decent announcer. I mean, I know my trick names, and I like to talk, so if you ever decide to get rid of Sam Osaka, hit me up. If you guys enjoyed this review, let me know with a thumbs up and a comment. I will do some more. Thanks for watching, guys.